Ken, uh, no one could question your intensity tonight. What went wrong? Oh, no, that's, that's what I thought. I thought our pressure was up tonight. I thought we were a bit better in that space, but obviously our finish was was really poor and their finish was really strong. And you know, when the game got biggest, they got best at it at the same time, didn't they? They were just a bit stronger in the crew. You know, we thought had them under real pressure in the third quarter and then they just found a way where we dominated a patch of play but couldn't score and that was pretty much the whole night. Were you concerned that some of your tall forwards were sort of drawn out of the forward area a bit more than you would have liked? Or? No, I think we defended, as I said, pretty hard all night. But, yeah, look, we just didn't, we didn't have opportunities to score as well as we'd like going into our forward 50. And that's been one of our key areas that we've really worked hard on and focused on. And tonight you'd say, uh, you know, we, we've still got plenty to do. You were switching the ball a fair bit and, I suppose, going down the wings, you know, having to go sort of back and forth a couple of different times. Was that sort of a... Do you sort of think that was probably going to happen tonight? Yeah, I think Geelong hold really good shape behind the ball. They've been always been fantastic at that and we, we're aware of that, but we were unable to execute tonight in a... In a in a way that we could hurt them, and that's credit to them. Would you have liked it to be a bit quicker? Absolutely. Is there I would a have, way to... Yeah, I would have liked it to be a bit quicker, yeah. and I'm sure our team would have liked to have played a bit quicker, but in a number of the times that we tried to quicken up, we made some skill errors that were just mm. you know, really off the mark and you know, haven't been that bad for a while. And uh, you know, It's just what the game does to you sometimes. This footy season, it's yep. what it is. You, you're never going that good, you're never going that bad, but at the moment it feels like we're... You know, we're going pretty bad. Was it hard to get Charlie Dixon involved tonight, or was that just the job that Mark Blissav sort of did on him tonight? No, we um, Charlie had lots of opportunities. Again, a bit like the t- it looked like he was going to take a fair bit of the ball, but just never did. And that's what happens when you you're not quite as good as you need to be at this level. We, uh, you know, as I said, we're a little bit off. It's as simple as that. How's Hamish Hartlett? Obviously, superb effort to come back for that second half, and was really influential in that second half as yeah, well. He, How's it going? Yeah, he's really good, wasn't he? Yeah, he played really strong. I mean, clearly he was OK to come back on, which is really important because sometimes what happened with Hammer, the, the hit and the blood makes him sometimes a lot worse than, than some of the other simple head knocks. So luckily enough for us, Hammer was really clear and was right to go and cleared by the doctors. So And he came come on and played like he was fine, didn't he? So he's probably one of our better players to be. So was, it a, was there a little concussion test that he had to go through when he first came off? Yeah, he would have got checked properly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So he had like a 15 minute sort of evaluation. And then well, I can't remember exactly when he went off the ground, to be honest, but he came back on after half time. He was right to come back after half time. And, uh, you know, it was absolutely 100% clear down in the change rooms, and everyone was uh, doctors, and Hamish himself had no problems at all about coming back. And you had to have stitches or anything like that before you Yeah, I think, I, again, I, yeah. I haven't checked out all that, <laughs> but I think he had a, a, a good cut across the eye, so he, I'm sure he's had something done there. It's, it's still only early in the season, but is. Is there a trend going for you? Is there a particular area where you need you think you need to work more on than another? No, I think we um, I think we we know when we're we're doing it well and when we're doing it bad. And at the moment, as I said at the start, we were really good for a couple of weeks at the start of the season. We've had a couple of weeks now. We've been off our game. As I said, that's that balance of a football season. You know, you're going to look great some days and you're going to look not so great on other days. The, the challenge is to play all 22 games and make sure you um, give yourself an opportunity at the end of the year. You want your players to play on the edge, but fair to say you might be a bit disappointed with Lindsay Thomas in the collision with Scott Selwood? Yeah, well clearly there's a, there's a pretty ferocious um, you know, collision, which you know, no player goes out there deliberately trying to cause things to go wrong, but in a contact sport, they do happen that way. I just hope, you know, from our point of view, Lindsay was trying to do the right thing. Scott, obviously, hopefully he's OK. That's probably important. And, and the rest of his stuff will take care of itself. What did you think of the Port Adelaide crowd booing when Joel Selwood got the Badco medal? Um, well, uh, I don't know. I wasn't taking too much notice. I think Joel was a worthy winner. That's all I know. And I think, um, you know, he, he deserved to be the winner of the medal. It's a significant day, significant game. And... You know, to, to their credit, Geelong and Joel Selwood as their captain, winners are grinners. There's another slow start tonight, Ken. Down by a couple of goals. Yeah, I thought our start was better tonight. Yeah. I didn't think our start was better. We just didn't we didn't hit the scoreboard. I thought, as I said, our pressure was right up. I thought, you know, the week before you wouldn't say that. This week you'd say our pressure was right up. And as I said, we, we dominated patch of the third quarter where we just didn't... We just couldn't put enough any gap in on them. We got to the lead. You know, we needed to kick the next couple of goals probably to put them in some doubt, but... To their credit, they kept fighting. Did you do anything different with the warm-up tonight, or was it the same? I know ladies sort of spoke on Monday that maybe doing more contested work or handball games and stuff like that to get the guys sort of ready. Yeah, well, today's an unusual game too because of the Anzac yeah. Day, so you're out there a bit differently. So we try to, you know, we, we do try to mix and match a little bit to get it the way we want, but more often than not, it's pretty consistent. It's it's about attitude as much as anything. I thought our, I thought our attitude at the start of the game was really strong, but unfortunately, we didn't get the result we want. 
Didn't seem to take a lot of inside 50 marks today. This didn't take many at all. No. Are the form, forwards out of form or is it... Yeah, I think, I think the team, is, as I said... Yeah. Just but you don't want to make silly statements because you know you mm. you can be in and out of form quite quickly. But look, we're not we're not marking the ball as well as we'd like in our forward fifty, particularly. And I think we only took four marks. We had mm. plenty of opportunities at fifty odd entries, but we just you know, and some of the stuff we were going forward with, it looked like we were going to get it, and we found a way not to. You know, so you know, yeah, we're not in we're not in terrific form in that area of the ground, but we're not in terrific form, as I said, as a team at the moment. But how quickly it does change. You know, it goes from today bad. Hopefully we're way back in better nick next week and we, we, we're ready to go again because the season doesn't allow you to get out of form for a long period of time. Mm. Are you hoping to get Tom Rockliffe back for next week? Yeah, hope to. I hope to get Tom back. We'd uh, Obviously, Marshall, we'd hope to be OK next week. Um, you know, obviously, we've got Jasper Pittard in that space too that you know he's on his way back to. So we've got... I would say we've some players have got some options. And you've got Pal Pepper as well? Yeah, well, that's still... you know we're, I'm waiting to see the outcome of that. So once that's done, I'll let you know. <laughs>